Item Number SCP-1005 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-1005 is to be maintained at Site-17, in a 3m by 3m by 3m holding room, equipped with dim lighting. SCP-1005 has no nutritional requirements, aside from a need to maintain hydration levels. Humidity in holding chambers should be kept at a minimum of 70% when possible, and at least one liter of water provided for consumption daily. SCP-1005 also does not need to sleep, but has requested a chair in which to relax when not undergoing study, granted. SCP-1005 also does not produce any waste, losing water only to evaporation. Thus, mineral cleanup is required. SCP-1005 has volunteered to give its chamber a monthly cleaning to prevent buildup of paint residue, under consideration. Due to ongoing good behavior and amicable attitude, SCP-1005 has been granted permission to explore non-secured sections of Site-17 and utilize social rooms, provided it is accompanied by at least one Level 2 researcher and one Level 1 security agent. Update. By request of maintenance crews, SCP-1005 is required to wear coverings over its feet when leaving its chamber. SCP-1005 is a sapient humanoid entity composed of semi-solid blue paint, with exact shades ranging from near white to deep navy. The surface of SCP-1005 has an average tensile strength approximately 75% that of human skin. This includes its clothing. SCP-1005 is unable to consciously control the viscosity or shape of its overall form, beyond the normal locomotion of a human body. It can, however, control its outer layer to a point where it can choose whether or not paint will smear on contacting surfaces. The degree to which SCP-1005 is able to control itself in such a manner becomes lessened if overhydrated. SCP-1005 is in the shape of a bald human male approximately 1.9 meters tall, and has demonstrated the ability to speak with a deep and resonant voice. Despite this, SCP-1005 has no gender and physical structure or personal identity. The apparent clothing is integrated as if skin, save for the shirt, the sleeves, and lower hem, and the pants below the ankles. Only SCP-1005's shoes are fully unique. It is believed they were created separately from the rest of SCP-1005 from the beginning. The process by which SCP-1005 was animated and remains so is not known. By its own admission, SCP-1005 only remembers becoming aware only a few minutes before its reclamation during a raid at an auction being held by Marshall Carter and Dark, where it was up for a bid alongside several items which had been under Foundation investigation. Specifically, as SCP-1005 originally had no sense of self-worth, identity, or purpose, the Mobile Task Force enacting the raid was able to convince SCP-1005 that it belonged to the Foundation and had been stolen. It willingly entered custody and was transferred to the MTF staging area before permanent relocation to Site-17. To date, SCP-1005 has been extremely cooperative with researchers showing a polite and professional attitude. SCP-1005 lacks most complex emotions beyond levels of satisfaction and comfort, and has demonstrated only limited facial expressions outside of movements required to speak. Additionally, SCP-1005 seems to lack the ability to understand abstract concepts. It is perfectly able to count, speaks fluent English with a slight Northern Midwest American accent, and can perform simple tasks. Complicated mathematics, emotional responses, and existential topics such as religion leave SCP-1005 confused, usually stating that it simply does not understand. The only driving force behind SCP-1005 is the desire to make its owners happy with it, usually through cooperating with testing protocols, but also while serving as entertainment or still-life living artwork for personnel during recreational periods. Researchers for clearance level 2 or higher access are advised to read Document 1005-01478 
or an abbreviated listing of testing logs concerning SCP-1005. Document 1005-01478 Notice, short-form testing logs included for reference material for new personnel assigned to SCP-1005. Long-form documentation and associated audio-video records available in records holding. Test 1005-04 Oversaturation Researcher Dr. B Test Record A volume of water was introduced to SCP-1005, in excess of normal daily regimen via oral intake. At 2 liters, subject's service was beginning to visibly run and smear. At 4 liters, subject reported feeling heavy, movement sluggish and plodding. Method of introduction changed to misting sprays at 5 liters. Subject has difficulty remaining upright and manipulating objects. Experiment halted at 6.2 liters due to threat of total loss of cohesion. Notes, when allowed time to recover and granted assistance with minor reconstruction, SCP-1005 described the overall experience as unpleasant and that it was made to think more slowly. Test 1005-05 Dehydration Researcher Dr. B Test Record SCP-1005 was brought into a testing chamber with a relative humidity of less than 1% and temperature of 43 degrees Celsius, and placed beneath additional bright lighting and directed heat lamps. Subject was recorded as claiming to be uncomfortable before advanced dehydration rendered it immobile after approximately 30 minutes. Subject successfully revived the rehydration efforts. Notes. Subject claimed to have lost awareness shortly after total cessation of movement, only to regain when rehydrated. This appears to be the way it understands consciousness. Test 1005-09 Vivisection Researchers Dr. B Research Assistant B Test Record SCP-1005 brought into examination room and asked to lay on table and remain still during the procedure. Through use of sculpting tools, researchers make extensive examinations of SCP-1005's internal structure. Most organs aesthetically present, but non-functional. Notably, the intestinal tract is extremely simplified. Most minor organs, such as appendix and glands are missing and the brain is externally represented, but is a solid mass within. Additionally, the subject's bloodstream carried an exceptionally watered-down slurry of paint with a more direct connection to stomach. This explains how SCP-1005 keeps a mostly homogeneous level of hydration. Notes: SCP-1005 was aware during the entirety of the examination. Subject reported no pain, only discomfort and was fully aware of any and all pieces that were still attached. Experimentation with the brain showed no hindrance to thought or ability. All in all, internal structures seem more in line with a simplified artistic representation of a human body than with the precise medical recreation, with only vascular system and esophagus stomach providing actual functions. Additional note, video recording of Test 1005-09 is available under document TL-1005-B13. Test 1005-13 Testing of Empathy Researcher Dr. B Test Record A single D-Class personnel, D-13904, was restrained with a non-functioning device visually similar to an electric chair. SCP-1005 was introduced and instructed to push a button. Upon inquiry of its purpose, SCP-1005 was informed that it would deliver an extremely painful but non-lethal shock to D-13904. SCP-1005 politely declined. When threatened that D-13904 would be terminated unless procedure was followed, SCP-1005 hesitated. D-13904 recorded as pleading, Come on, man! Don't let them kill me! SCP-1005 apologized to D-13904 for his discomfort and pressed the button. D-13904 
released from bonds and escorted from chamber by security personnel. Notes. After the test, SCP-1005 asked why the man was not shocked. Dr. B explained that they were testing SCP-1005's reaction and never meant actual harm. SCP-1005 stated relief that he was not expected to injure a living person. Exact phrasing seems to point towards this being a case of going against programming than true empathy. SCP-1005 apparently designed wholly for artistic and entertainment pursuits. Test 1005-16 Restructuring of Anatomy Researcher Dr. B Research Assistant B Test Record Using sculpting tools and paint supplies, numerous alterations were made to SCP-1005's physical structure, including sculpting and painting of additional eyes, removal of right arm, reattachment of right arm below left arm, and sculpting of an additional nose and abdominal region. SCP-1005 reported all experiences to be extremely uncomfortable and disoriented, but extra organs and reattached limbs proved to be fully functional. Male sexual organs proved no more sensitive than any other skin surface and exhibited no reactions. Notes. Following testing. SCP-1005 was returned to original state. SCP-1005 politely requested that the test not be repeated. Additional note: Assistant B repeatedly suggested during testing that SCP-1005 have clothing excised and given a real man's body before being redressed. SCP-1005 politely refused, and Assistant B reprimanded and removed from case when she was shown to be developing unprofessional levels of attachment to SCP-1005.